Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Volpe Basil Report. Today is January 3rd, 2018. Happy New Year to everybody. It's four degrees below zero. Wind chill of 17. Cable offices here are freezing. So we... We got our winter jackets, our coats except, on. Our except dogs. these guys are weenies; they wear gloves. You know? But I think it's so they can have protected. Can we show you how much of a trooper we are that we actually still stuck it out and did this. Oh, by the way, Marianne McCara. Yes, our favorite happy fan. Happy New Year! We're gonna wave. Give, yes, give, give Happy wave New Year, Marianne. Good. As always, our number one fan. That's right. And I, I, I want to ask yourself: Are you guys wearing gloves so you have safe touching yourselves inappropriately? <laughs> I will not leave any fingerprints. Yeah, I understand. Uh, no. Now, we were having a conversation. This is, like, this is like that old skit, the Molson skit. The, uh, remember those Canadian? Yeah, the, the, the Saturday Night Live skit. Well, that's a boot. Now, we were having Molson. a conversation about... And they got a hockey season. puck in the stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were having a conversation off the air about the Christmas season that just passed. And we all send out cards, and we all receive cards. And this year, I, I had mentioned that... I, for, this, for some reason, I had received a, a lot of cards that featured the children. Now, I remember growing up, my parents took us to a professional photographer, and me and my brother would sit in front of a fireplace, and we'd have this picture, and it was on all the Christmas cards my parents sent out. Some people sent out full family pictures. My aunt sent the kids in front of their fire. They had a fireplace, so their picture was taken in front of theirs. So it's not an unusual thing. But Darren said he had a ritual, <laughs> and we were not supposed to talk about it. But this is so fascinating and so fun, and because Dominic actually sent pictures, he had never sent a family portrait. Right. Never. Oh, never. Let's be up for never sent. But he sent his grandchildren this year, who are adorable. Actually, only one, right? It was just, it wasn't just one. Just one. one. Right. The newborn. Was so, Darren, tell, 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 tell him, tell him what your your Christmas ritual it's is. Just awful. Look. My wife and I, we don't have any kids. So, but at some point, all of our friends started to reproduce and make children, and they would send us uh, proudly pictures of their kids. Uh, and then they do it every year, every year, every year, we get these pictures of the kids. So what we do is we line them all up on our mantle. And after Christmas, my wife and I sit down with a bottle of wine, and we sip wine, and, and, and we vote kids off the mantle. Right. Uh, and we start with the, uh, the, uh, the ones that are just terrible at being photographed. Uh, you know, the ones that are like, and, and then we vote them off until finally we have a winner. And that winner is the most precious uh, a Christmas angel of the year. And this year, the Christmas angel was Dominic's grandson. See that? And I can understand that. Now, but, but he we looks have, like a little one cherub. He does. Now, he's wait, brand new. Now, he has wait, that new know, baby I, I smell. I owe 20 bucks for that, so I got to. No, he <laughs> does. He has like that new baby smell. And <laughs> you put a Santa hat on Santa him. hat. That was yeah, all but my wait, Which I was like amazing. I want to go one step farther because Dominic had the best story. I was talking to him about this at the store. <laughs> the people that sent what they did for the year. Oh. oh. You know, oh like, I, I give that to my aunt. She gives me the story from Connecticut every year to the point that we sit down at the at our dinner table and I read it out to my wife and kids. But, you know, naturally I'm reading off it's it's an eight and a half by eleven and it's got the picture of my aunt, my uncle, and the two boys, and they go through it. Now what I do though is I ad lib a lot of the stuff that's in there. <laughs> So the kid, my kids and family really don't know what's really written. I just add a lot of stuff in there to the point that it becomes hysterical. We love it every year. So I you, are, I can't wait see, for. See, we all have our Christmas traditions. Right <laughs> now, this Christmas, uh, I binge watched Blacklist from Saturday. Through Monday, wow. I have all four seasons. You mean you didn't do the honeymooners? No, no, no. That's New Year's Eve. Oh. But I, I oh, have all Christmas. four seasons of The Blacklist. Right. I've never seen The Blacklist. Uh, well, i, I got to tell you, I caught one episode a couple of years ago. All I know is was Blacklist season, Matters. It was season... Blacklist Matters. It was, it was season two. And I caught the episode where they blow off Alan Alda's head with a neck bomb. Ooh. I mean, yeah, right. I mean, I, and I said to myself, any show that kills off Alan Alda, who I think is a pretentious prick... <laughs> Can we I, say prick on I this show? I just did. And so did you. <laughs> like Rose and Thorn prick, you know. And, and, oh, and, that's and, like and, I put my I, finger. And, yeah. I, and I said, I got to study more on this show. 
but I had. I don't. If you've never seen it, I've never anybody, seen it. If you guys have not seen the blacklist, James Spader stars in it. And Alan he Alda was the star. Like a star. Nice guy. Yeah, he's yeah. A what's nice wrong guy? with Alan Alda? He is a pretender. He was great on Mash. That was, and that was the last time he was great. You'd probably on hate Tom Hanks. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I like Tom Hanks. Everyone likes Tom But Hanks. if they blew off his head, I'd even like to blacklist even more. <laughs> I mean, blacklist season one. My woman must be in her late 70s, and she's the head of the National Security Agency. And, 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 and James Spader plays Red Reddington, who's a notorious criminal, most wanted man on the earth. And he breaks into her house because she's the one that secretly has been protecting him from actually ever getting arrested by the cops. But now she's turning on him, and they're both in the living room, and it's the end of the episode, and she says, what are you going to do, shoot me? Pulls out his gun, and he shoots her. <laughs> no. Go, like, Kills the old lady. <laughs> so, I said, so, if you haven't seen the blacklist, and you've got to get it from season one. It is a great show. James Spader, who was in Boston Legal. Yeah, right. Great show. Again, James Spader is a better <clears throat> actor than I ever thought he would be. He was great in Boston Legal as Alan Shore, and now as uh, Raymond Reddington. Again, good ensemble cast <clears throat> that were both of those shows. Uh, both worth watching. See, I've been blacklisted, right, for doing this show. Oh, is that right? Yes. Yeah, yes. You, you have enemies this show now. Because I do the show with you and Brian, and uh, I'm blacklisted from what? From all sorts of stuff. <laughs> I don't get. I, I'm, I, don't I understand the blacklist anymore. I'm surprised I still have a head. No, no, people like you. You, you have been called. The, uh, uh, the uh, uh, cause you've been emceeing all these events oh, now, <clears throat> and I and he was to call, mention a local politician that, but I said no, you're the Georgie Jessel of ah. local politics, and you have to be old enough to know who Georgie no, no, Jessel, wait, very what, famous. What, what happened? I think it's I think it's a compliment for everyone. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, I, did I you was asked to be the right, I was yeah. the master of ceremonies for inauguration day for the inauguration right, which January first. Before that, I had been the master <clears> of ceremonies at a big fundraiser for the Democrats, and then I was the master of ceremonies at our big rally with Chris Quinn and everybody. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, people who are involved in Peaksville know that uh, former Mayor Vinnie Vesey, the dad, he often is the master of ceremonies at different events. Dad of who? The son. Uh, Boo Vesey, uh, Vinny Vesey Jr. Former councilman. Former councilman, former mayor and former councilman. They, uh, they, they're they often the master right, of ceremonies. Right, absolutely. Events. So Mary Beth McGowan, uh, council former member, councilman, she well. comes up to me and she says, you know what you've become? You are the Democratic Vinny Vesey. Oh, a is that former right? Former elected uh -oh. official that they wheel out to master of ceremony at different events. See that? But, but I did the inauguration, which by the way, the swearing in was fantastic. That was nice. I was really even nice. I watched it. I, I I was having coffee and it was mm. I was looking at Facebook and this thing pops up, so I turned it on and I was having trouble with my bowels that morning and by the time <laughs> ten minutes of that thing I was able to go right to the bathroom. <laughs> so it was a great inauguration. <laughs> It well, was, it was a packed room like your intestines that I guess. Yeah, they were packed. <laughs> just packed <laughs> but when you, there was a lot of uh, energy and enthusiasm. It was very bipartisan. There was a lot of Republicans there as well showing right. support. And when you look at this new council, it's, it's this incredibly diverse, and I'm not just talking like skin color. Yeah. It's diverse, younger, older, experienced, new, fresh new ideas. Yeah, it's a good makeup of the city. It's a really good makeup. Yeah. Oh, no, really you really, really well, have wait, to wait. No, Now, wait a minute. What it, now, speaking of which, though, because Andre Rainey, who's now the mayor, mm -hmm. he gives up his seat as common council. That's right. So now what happens to that Darren's that position? going to get it. No, 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 no. What's the That's right. what's the legal er, issue here? What's the ramification? No, so, what, what do so Democrats care about? <clears throat> upon his swearing in, right. right now, Andre's seat is now vacant. So there's, right. only, there's only six of them now up there. Correct. So there's an empty uh, city council seat. So what they'll do now is uh, people will be able to uh, send resumes or letters of interest to the clerk's office. Right. And then uh, the clerk will present them all to the city council. The city council will go through them. Right. And they will vote and appoint someone and that appointment is only uh, to fill the rest the of the remainder term. of Andre's Correct. term which is and then that person runs which is what an, an just another year two and a half years. two no, years two years, yeah. two years sorry no, two year appointment gotcha so, and, gonna, and, so and is there a time it, right? is there a time frame in other words they haven't said it yet is it a week three weeks they haven't uh, said it. it's entirely up to the new council and there's different <clears> ways that they could do it like for instance in the past uh, when I was on the council uh, they had talked about um, 
maybe we should have like a search committee. Like, you know, appoint different members from the community to put together a search committee to be the first people to kind of go through the resumes All right. and talk about what qualifications they're to looking for. To screen out maybe to screen if out, it's too many. And then they make a recommendation to the council. Gotcha. And then the council votes on it. Or they could just they could just do it themselves. You right. know, sift through. Um, I know that when I was on the council, we often <laughs> used kind of search committees just because it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot to go through. And also, you do want sort of a third party validation. So it doesn't look like you're appointing like your friend. Right. You don't want ever to look like, oh, I appointed that person because they were like a Wait supporter. Wait a second. Or something. In a small town, and even people in relative terms, Peaks is a small town. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows somebody. I wrote that article when they were giving Mary Forster that hard time about hiring the marshal or something, or whoever it is that does the for. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. yeah uh, the, 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 and uh, the, and uh, I said, right, she's right. lived yes. in this town for 25 <clears throat> years. Yeah. The chances of her knowing somebody are not that remote. Are not right. remote. Yeah, what's the right? You know, exactly. so, I mean, yeah, I mean, if it was New York City or <clears> something, <throat> you got, yeah, but not, not an it, He's so. rented a commercial space yeah, from, that was owned by, by the husband. husband. Yeah, well, and so they said, well, you're financially benefiting yourself. Right. Yeah, yeah, but don't you, you know? make that argument about every time somebody rents a Trump motel? Now you're saying that's a bad thing. Rents what? A Trump hotel room, that he's uh, not the low. Uh, the uh, no, that can't benefit. Woman. Yeah, that can't benefit him. I thought he doesn't take money from that anymore. No, but isn't that the Democrat argument, the emoluments thing? We have so many did. arguments. I that's not the Democrat. Now let, 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 let's go. actually here we are. Like it's the beginning of January. And, as I, and you look here from Peaksville to Cortland to Yorktown. Right. Democrats as far as the eye can see. And county yes. executive. And county. I, know, I know, but you've got to go all the way down that way. I'm talking about just up here. Because <laughs> if Democrats that you way. you got actually Ossining, Peaksville, which, Cortland, Yorktown. Which oh, Mount Vernon, Democrats. <laughs> I, that's below 287. Stop. Yeah. No, 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 no. He's right. He's right. <laughs> it, because, because there's been typically a mix up here of right. Republican to Democrat. Yeah. Except Democrat for Republican, Cortland. Except for Cortland. But, but uh, I, I think the real, look, the big surprise I think was Yorktown. No way did anyone expect great something feeling. like that. That was, it's monumental there. I don't I know. Uh, it, it, like it, like I said in my I mean, column, even the race here with, with, with Rainey and Catalina, like, it was close, Like though, I said you know in my I mean? column. It was close. You know, yeah, but, but like I said in my column, I think that Proposition 1, the union people, got their people, and the majority of unions are nah. Democrat voters. That was the difference. No. Andy, Andy, yes. Andy, wait, hold on. The, 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 that referendum, that resolution was bad. Republicans and Democrats hated that. The, the proof of the numbers are 82 to 18. Yeah, but the point that is thing that thing was bad by getting its, their members get out. It Most make, of their members are Democrat. Uh, uh, overwhelmingly uh, so. I don't know. I mean, Frank Catalina, Frank Catalina prided himself on being endorsed by so the good AFL he got the So he got the Republican Union members. No, but he got the AFL CIO. He yeah. got the unions. Got, he got right. the he police did, unions. He the, the, the problem. The city workers. He got the, the, the problem with the, fitters, he got all the unions. With the normal. Yeah. And this goes for both parties, Democrat, Republican. The normal voter goes into the vote booth, and if they're Republican, they vote Republican across the board. If it's Democrat, they vote there was Democrat. There was they're something not, else, Andy. And, they brought, and the unions brought people that hadn't voted in a while. When I won, I won, by, this, I won by about 75 votes. 125. 125 I won by? Those were the ones I got you with my endorsement. 100, I remember. No, you, 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 you turned people away. You were calling, you turned people away. Yeah, you yeah. were actually, yeah. Yeah, you lost me votes. Yeah, when you, you asked me when you votes. said that you were going to drive them, you drove them to Ossining to go vote for. Gary. He would call them up to see if they voted, and he would ask them what they're wearing. <laughs> ask them if they were alone. <laughs> he used yeah. to bring him. He bring them across the bridge and say, "Now get back I'm in time." You're alone. No, I won with like I think around seventy five or something like that. One hundred twenty five. I won with one hundred twenty five votes. Vanessa Agudelo won by six hundred yeah. votes. Yeah. I've never seen numbers like that. Actually, if you look at the numbers, right, traditionally, if you look at those numbers, no, we were about the, because they were consistent. Right, that's peak, yeah, I was talking about Yorktown. Vesey, no, 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 We were staying I, in Yorktown. No, 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 I, okay, no, no but I, I no, just. But there was a Democratic, a massive surge. Yes, yes massive and that Proposition surge. 1 had a lot to do with, then you had the anti-Trump venom, like you had the anti-Obama venom that brought in Catalina yeah. and Grace the first time around. That was the anti-Obama wave. Yep. The wave works both ways when you have a, a mm. president that inspires passion. Yeah, but look at swept the Swept in on a wave, swept right. in on a wave. Yeah, but, but the Democrat Proposition 1 
was the difference in that 58 yeah, votes on Catalina. Yeah but, yeah, but here's the problem. Look at the difference between, in peak skill, look at the difference between the council vote win compared to the Catalina Rainey win. You, they were five, 550, 600 votes on the council side, all three. And then and Rainey and, and Catalina were 80 votes That's away. That's why I say my proposition one was the difference. Uh, it brought more Democrats. I don't know. No, not, not know. in that case. I don't think so. I don't think so. Look, what, what have you heard in your taxi in the last three, four weeks or after the elections? What, what, after the election, what was the biggest thing that you think? People the holidays. Like, people Nobody, like, once God, election was not... day was over, right. everybody went into holiday mode. Politics was Ceased. over. Yeah. Mm. It was over. Except for the Alabama senator that still has Nobody cared up here about that. still that, hasn't conceded the that seat. Meant not, that meant yeah, <laughs> nothing. No, he's not Yeah, but yeah. that doesn't mean anything to the people up here. That's no, not no, 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 I know. It's just, right? you know I'm just saying Well, that, he keeps on trying to get national but news. Because it wasn't in like, like when Trump won. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all they talked about until, uh, mm -hmm. and they still did. But this was a local election. It was over. People went now into holiday mode. And remember, winter came early with snowstorms and right. all that already. Okay, so get People, back. Get back. Get so back. So I, I can't tell you right, yet. Let me, let me ask you this: What was the winning? What was the winning margin for Gilbert over? Three hundred votes. So three hundred votes. What's typically the the win in? Well, in Grace won by three hundred votes over Patel. Right. Two years ago. Wow. But that's got you gotta understand Patel is an anomaly. The man never stops campaigning. I, I agree. No, I, no, I, I, does, know yeah. I know him. I know exactly. He has a map him. and he gets to every house that's mm -hmm. in And New I York think now. that Alice Roker uh, she the, had a name recognition. She, she had a great and name she had a great reputation as the town clerk. That's right. And she was her like win 25. was not surprising. Right, right. Uh but Latimer also won all of these areas. Yeah, I know. I know. There was a big backlash against so, Astorino. Uh, and let's and let's face it, people were talking about as look, Astorino always had one foot in his gubernatorial race. Right. So he was, you know, being paid by the taxpayers of Westchester. So do you think but his mind was on his government? Do you think race. he was Matter of fact, he had money left over that he didn't spend on the do, campaign. Do you think he was content right, yeah, that's what I heard. I heard he was already contemplating the next race. And Absolutely. I kind of yep. forgot about this See, one. See personally. Personally, that happened to Tom Swazi years ago, see, the Democrat. And remember that he was campaigning yeah. all over New York. He started a committee to look into changing the property tax laws, right? And that was going to be his his mechanism to to go statewide and run for governor. So Tom Swazi traveled all over the state of New York, didn't keep his eye on his seat, and lost his election. Uh, well, county executive, right. right? But now he's a congressman. If I'm now right. he's a congressman. But I got to give you, he was out there after the tax. You know, they just passed the tax bill in Congress. And it's not the greatest for New York. You lose the salt deduction for the people that use that deduction. Mm -hmm. Most average workers don't use it because uh, Dominic's been moved to Florida because of that. They so. don't. They don't itemize. Homestead. But, but no, I'm not going anywhere. But Florida. But First of all, but what I'm saying is that Swazi no was out there. We're no, we're, there's no way to know what this tax plan, how, what really is going to happen, only because as far as the, you're talking about the 10000 cap on right. the salary. Right. right. But that doesn't take effect, not in, in your 2018. That, that'll that take effect in your, when you right. pay your 2019 right. taxes. Right, right. So but that's a year and three but, months but away what before I, we But really what I was get saying that. is that Swazi was out there giving this press conference saying, this is not what the Trump voters voted for this is not what they voted for here in new york and i'm saying hillary carried new york why you what do you mean the tr the trump voters yeah, like, didn't have a chance in new york that's so, a weird argument so, I, yeah, it was like i know well Sw swazi was i used to like him but then he turned out to be an idiot <laughs> <laughs> no what i really thought he was a different democrat i that, think i think we're not going to have any races by us that's what I'm thinking. Because the, 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 the Republican that everyone was excited about, this guy, Harry Wilson, self-made millionaire, was prepared to spend 10 to $15 million of his own money to make it a competitive race in New York State. And, and, and he bowed out. He, he announced he's not going to run for governor. On the Republican side. On the Republican team. side. So now they don't really have sort of a natural front runner. Well, wait a minute. Why wouldn't you? Cuomo what? has $25 million. Well, wait a minute. Why? Wh so what's the reason? Tell me why. He said family. No, no, no. why wouldn't Astorino run for governor? 
Oh, I think the loss in Westchester really damaged him. Why? He, but I'll tell you, if the he blames oh, it, Westchester's wait, wait, wait. the swing if, area. Yeah, but I'll tell you, the, if he I'll says, tell you. look, if he looks at it this way, let's 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 get, go to the other side. Let's take it. He's got the money. He's he didn't use all his money in in the campaign. Yeah, but he the, already ran once, so he's already got his base established. Darren, here's the problem. Recognition. Uh, Dominic, he's got the, name recognition here's the already. Here's the problem in the statewide race in New York. Yeah. If you just concentrate. On New York City and its immediate surrounding suburbs, right. immediate right. surrounding suburbs, you could ignore the rest of the state. The rest of the state. Right. Uh, Astorino carried ninety-five percent of the counties. He lost Westchester and below it, and out to Nassau. Right. And, yeah. Nassau, Suffolk, right. Same Bronx, with Teach Manhattan. Out. Right. In the primary, she carried ninety-five percent mm -hmm. of the county, except low. There's no way a Republican right now can use yeah, the tacky model yeah, but here's, yeah, to but here's, win New York. Yeah, but here's the problem, though, Andy. What's he going to do, though? He's got the money in the campaign, in the fund. There's, you can't use If he doesn't use it, it's not like he, he can, can use it he to can, help other people. He can, right. right, he can help other he people. Can, yeah, he can but what's he going to do, though? He's going to wait for two years, four years? I don't think no, so. No, what I'm saying, he may be the next Aldemar, or you save your money and you help other people He's win younger. it. He's younger. Mean, he, he right, can he could be the Aldemar for a lot of years, yeah, he could helping the up and coming where they owe him. Gotcha. You know, he can become a power broker. But yeah. there's nothing really stopping him in the sense to run. Right. No, no, other, than, run. other than logistics. Yeah. It's, you know, he the, no longer has the uh, the county services like if they were flying him back Yeah, but he still lost them. Westchester. No, 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 Is Schumer up this No, year? I'm talking about is as far as being that he's the county executive. He was able to use, I'm sure, county services. Yeah, but it didn't to bring yeah, it back and yeah, forth. Yeah, yeah, that would have helped. That's yeah. gone. That's yeah, gone. but it would have helped in Westchester, and it didn't help him. Cuomo took Westchester. Westchester, you know, that's why I talked about the wave that has been mm. coming for quite a while. Yeah. Westchester solidified itself as a blue area. Now. Yeah, right. It, it, it is what it is, and uh, they're going to be punished. Who's the, who's running for Senate this year? Is it Schumer that's up or Gillibrand? Uh, Gillibrand. Gillibrand's up. That's why they're in after her. Ah, so with her on the ticket and, and, and Cuomo and then Nita Lowy, I don't think anyone's running against Nita Lowy right now, so she'll she'll do fine. Right? I'm going right to right. tell you right now where you got a problem, and it's mm -hmm. this tax bill. So the fight will be, no, the, the fight's going to be the state senator, Terrence Murphy. No, I'm going to tell you right now. You'll have someone this, go after him. You're going to have you know. a problem with the tax bill. It has no Democrat fingerprint. Like there was no Republican fingerprint on Obamacare. Wait, wait, wait. wait. If this tax bill yeah. generates a good economy, yeah. I'm not going to argue whether it does or it doesn't because the Democrats are hoping for failure, pain, suffering, death. The Republicans are hoping for vibrant economy. And all. Now, let's say, let's say this tax bill does exactly what Trump says it's going to do. Companies are going to repatriate that money. Mm -hmm. right. They're going to invest it in New York business, you know, in, in, in businesses, and they're going to uh, create jobs and give out raises. Yeah, that's what. Let's that's say, what rich business owners let's do. Let's say that happens. No, that's she's. No, no, they put it in a mattress. Yeah, right. And they, 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 all, they, no, actually, they do reinvest. See what happened. They uh, buy you're gonna bonds. make me go off on a tangent. They buy jewelry. You're gonna makes... get me on a tangent, but stop. <laughs> anyway, if it works, the Democrats are gonna have a very tough prime this year, and Gillibrand because they all voted against it. So they voted. So the the, the argument <clears> could be framed if the Republicans are right. Remember, that's the codicil. Right. That the Democrats voted to take money out of your pocket and not let you have your money, to take your job away, take your opportunity. They can make this argument if this bill does what it's supposed to do. Right. If it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, the Democrats have the argument, see, they did it for the rich, and only the rich are benefiting, no, yada, 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 yada. You're, yada. Saying, you're saying that a campaign for U.S. Senate is going to be a debate about the tax bill. And this campaign for U.S. Senate will have nothing to do with the tax bill. They won't even bring well. it up. I don't think so. Two things. You, you, Trump is going to say something insane, like, hey, I should divert everyone's money to go build a wall on the Mexican border. The Republican nominee is going to agree with him. If and the you Democrats remember my the column... Out. Is there a DACA in the House? If you remember my column, mm -hmm. I said what Trump did with the DACA thing. Obama made an unconstitutional fiat. He had no power to do what, what he did for the DACA children. Trump said, this is illegal. He said, I'm going to stop it and tell Congress, mm -hmm. make it 
lawful. Mm -hmm. He didn't say don't do this. He said make it lawful. Mm -hmm. I'll sign it. So if Congress handles DACA because Trump will sign whatever protects the DACA children, Congress sends them. He has no objection to this amnesty. Understand mm -hmm. that. He objected to it being unlawful. Right. So now, if they do the DACA thing, that's off the table. They're not going to do the DACA thing, though. They have to. I'll, Mitch know. McConnell is going to do the DACA thing? They'll do it, yes. All right. Because well, they did, because that's why I got there. Yeah. Trump right. says there is no DACA, and I said this in my column, this is going to be a negotiation. Right. And it's going to be, you want your amnesty, I want the wall. Right. The Democrats will give it because if they don't give them the wall and there is no amnesty, the Democrats will be blamed for no DACA. Because Trump is saying, I'll give you DACA. I but saw. the losers don't set the agenda. So okay. people of Hispanic descent will follow that and then they'll suddenly vote for the party of Trump. No, I'm saying they'll stay at home. They'll stay home. They won't vote. Well, well, I, I, but wait, wait. Get back, get back to the, the thing. Because we, we were going Peekskill, Cortland, Yorktown. The fact that, and the whole area, how it's gone Democrat. Are you, are you trying to infer, or are you saying that now because council, mayors, and supervisors has all gone Democrat, and you have now then county legislators and Terrence Murphy state senators, are those positions in jeopardy? All depends on how they're districted. See, Testa survived. Right. This election because of the district. He's right. drawn a super Yo, Republican. Unless they district. found him in dead with in bed with a live boy or a dead girl, he wasn't losing. Right. And well, is it Murphy in the same position or no? Uh, again, he's got a good Republican district, pretty right. much. As right. long as he is not in bed with a live boy or a dead girl, he's pretty well as because of Putnam. If they take Putnam away from him, like they took Pe uh, Poughkeepsie right. away from. Nan Hayworth mm -hmm. and only mm -hmm. left the Democrat part of Poughkeepsie mm -hmm. in that district, which gave it to uh, so John when Hall. So when are the new lines going to be drawn? To 2020. Right now, Murphy says oh, 2020. So, the election. so yeah, it won't 20, be this election. No, then. no, no, yeah, no. Yeah. 2020 is the census, and after the results of the census. <coughs> right. Yeah, but I'm saying, but lines. Murphy's Murphy safe. Murphy's safe for this election. I don't know. I don't know if he's safe. Only because do you remember when Greg Ball was in the <coughs> same seat? Right. Same lines. Right. And uh, uh, what's his name? Gave him a good run. Um, uh, Wag Wagner. Yeah, but that's Justin because that, that, you understand. That was, that was a close, close election. Yeah, but then you could say things about Greg Ball that you cannot say about Terrence Murphy. And that would drove but down. But Greg Ball was during a popular time for Republicans. No, they, but they right still. Now, I, I know, but right they now, still. If you, a, even a, if you have a Democratic in, surge again, like you saw this last election. Right. Understand, Greg Ball didn't have an enemy in the world. His friends hated him. <laughs> and that's the print that was his problem. I can't believe I got to mention Greg Ball again on television. But that was his problem. And so, so that's what made it close to So you don't Wagner. think those two seats are, are susceptible at all? I think because all. Murphy is, is, is truly oh, I should say not that. only just a likable person, yeah. an inherently honest person. No, that no, it I don't not, mean it in that No, sense. no, what I'm saying, I think he's Democrat, not going to be not. He's, he he is, what I'm trying to say Terrence is, Murphy let, let is not noxious no, 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 this is not, for no, no, middle-line no, no, Democrats wait, 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 to vote for. Hold on, hold on. You're missing This is my first show I'm with not you. I'm so about, excited. I'm not talking about Terrence Murphy. I'm talking about if there were individuals, oh, it's too late. If there were individuals who maybe before felt that it was an impossible seat, and now that there is, now you're going to get more qualified more, more people that have more money involved and everything else. I think you may see a couple.